Hello and welcome to the CSCOT video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about translations. In this video I am going to explain how to work with language files and translate your store manually. First of all, I would like to tell you that there are two types of language data in CSCOT. The content data and CSCOT localization. Ok, uh, let me show you the difference. Let's proceed to the products page. Ok, I'm going to use these pens as an example. Here you can see the language panel and uh, here is also the language panel. This panel changes the language of the content. Look, here and here, pay attention. Voila! The content language was changed to Russian, but the interface and the buttons language is still English. Now, if I change it here, for example, I'm gonna use a German. Everything except the content uh, became in German. Or, for example, if we turn it to Russian. Now everything is in Russian. We can do it this way, for example, the other way. Alright, now the content is in English and the language of the interface is Russian. Bear in mind two types of data, the content and the localization. Now let's turn to languages. You can manage your languages in administration, languages, manage languages. Here you can view your already installed languages, like this, four, or take a look at the available ones. No items defined for now. Ok, gear button allows you to edit the small amount of settings, choose a language code, name your language file, your language in the system, I'm sorry, and choose a country for this language. Ok, what else? Change the status, of course, and add a new language. Now, let me show you where you can take the new language files. For this, you need to go to the translate.cscot.com. Let's move to this site and I will show you. Here is the list of all available languages. Some of them almost translated, like Serbian, and uh, others are not so translated. Uh, for example, Finnish or Estonian. You just click the file of a desired language, for example, I want to install the Swedish localization, and download the zip archive with PO file inside. PO file is the language file that will be used in your CS card. Ok, let me show you how it works. First, I'm going to unzip this file. All right. Here, take a look. This is the core PO file with the core language information for multi vendor and uh, admins data. Now I'm going to upload this file. Alright, let's upload and install the new language file. Local Swedish core PO. As you can see, the following file. Extensions are supported PO and zip. Install. Done. That's it. Now we have Swedish language in our store. Let me show you. There you go. Well, I don't know how to read that, but as you can see, this is definitely Swedish. Now, one more thing I would like to tell you about translations. If you wish to participate in translations, or you want to translate card into your language, you need to go to the Crowdin platform, Crowdin, and visit CSCART projects, CSCART latest. There you will be able to find all languages that are being translated right now. So you just click the desired language, choose the file, log in, bad stuff, you know, and participate in translation. So you just translate from English to your language, for example to Dutch. And after your translation was approved, others will be able to use it. 
with this platform you are able to work with other translators together and that is really really convenient and accelerates the process of translation. There are also other ways to translate this card. Let me show you. The first is to go to languages, translations and translate language variables, for example this one, manually. Just change the language or just add the new language variable and enter its value and it's done. Or you can change it right here if you wish. For example, something like that. That's just an example. You can search for variables. Like this. And uh, one more thing, this way of translating might be useful uh, when you need to translate a new add-in. For example, you have installed a new add-in and this add-in is uh, available only in English. You just go here, find variables from this add-in and translate them manually in the desired language. For example, into German, into Spanish, into French, any language you want. Yeah, that's how this system works. The second way of translating. On-site live editing. Here, you just click the desired space, this pencil button, and uh, change. Apply, and it's done. As you can see here. Oh, here. And that's it, the easiest way, I gotta say. But I do not recommend you to overdo it, because it may cause some conflicts in languages, or you just may lost in translation. So be careful about this way of editing the content. All right, and now the third way. For this method, you will need a PO file. You just open it up with WordPad or Word, Choose the format UTF-8, OK, and uh, here you go. Find the variable, look at the source language and translate here. Once again, you just take the PO file, go inside it and translate the content. That's it. Alright guys, there are four ways of translating this card. The first one is the online translation via crowding. Second, variables. Third, on-site live editing. And the last one, translating via PO files. Don't be shy to use them all. And especially, don't forget about online translation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.